Good morning, everyone. How are you? Um, this is Kanika Jenkins on your screen. Now, a family member made this beautiful photo, and it says, Don't let them rest till I get my justice. J for K always. Now, everyone thinks, well, not everyone, but a lot of people think on YT that this should just be swept under a rug and stop being talked about, right? But that's not something that something that I'm willing to do because I can still see the determination of the family and her true friends. Despite the lawsuit, still trying to get answers on what exactly happened to this baby girl. So, CP, we're not just going to sweep it under a rug. We're not just going to stop talking about it. And though people don't talk about it as much, best believe it's still J for K. With that being said, I'm not going to give the identity of some of the people, which whom are close friends with Kanika, or even family members for that matter, giving their questions or opinions on the case. Because of the way people are treated, who are fighting for justice for her. She states, the man who cleaned the pool took the elevators up from the lower level. If anyone was looking for how he got up from the kitchen to pool, I have no idea why he went all the way around the upper kitchen and pool is close to each other. So, why did he go from the pool, right, and take the elevators up from the lower level? when the upper kitchen and the pool are barely right next to each other. Very close. Next. Whew, this is a close, close, I'm gonna just say friend or family member that knows more about this case than any of us ever would. She said clearly that the cooler door doesn't shut. It's broken. And the freezer door was blocked. So now we know the cooler door does not shut. That the cooler door was broken. And of course we all know family, friends, whoever believed that it was blocked. This one says, these are the last people in the kitchen on Sunday before the surveillance footage stops. Hmm. These are the last people in the kitchen on Sunday before the surveillance footage stops. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because it's only right to go back and when, get, when getting information, get it from what's close to Kanika. Get it from the sources. Because then that will lead you 
in the right direction. That will lead you to where you need to look. If they have a question, it can lead you to where you need to find the answers. She says, those videos Monifa made was before and after Irene's live. Those videos may be shown to us together because they want us to look at it that way. Excuse me. They wanted us to look at it a certain way. But those live videos are out of order. So, the lives presented to us with Monifa were made before and after and they were given to us out of order. We all know who Patricia is. God bless you. I commend you for your fight. Just like Teresa Martin as her grandmother to continue pushing for justice. But a true friend, a real friend, says Monifa needs to record herself explaining what happened. Monifa needs to record herself explaining what happened. And I agree with that. They all do. Because they're going to be forced to. Now, we all heard that she was carried out, right? And that's why you can say, you know, you know she was woken up. You, you've heard all that. But her grandmother says, but she was carried out. Oh, but she carried her out of the room. I'm confused. That tells me something. Did you carry her out of the room or did you not? <sighs> the grandmother once again telling her side, telling her heart, telling her feelings about her granddaughter, Kanika Jenkins. No true friends will come to her mom, whether it's on Facebook message or would they do their own life and expose the person that harmed her. No true friends would come to her mom, whether it's on Facebook message. Or they would and should do their own life. And I agree. And expose exactly who harmed Kanika Jenkins. Because we all know she was harmed. We all know this was not an accident. We all know that baby girl didn't walk in that freezer. Everyone thinks it's over. Everyone thinks it should just be brushed away. Forgotten about. But that's not what awareness is. That's not what fighting for justice is. Another one. Those two red boxes in the upper level kitchen goes off when someone is by the corner where you enter at. Those two boxes went off when Kanika was halfway in the kitchen. Once again, a true friend is telling you, telling me, telling us, as we all seen, why are two red boxes going off when Kanika was halfway through the kitchen if no one else was there? What set off those red boxes? Who set them off? 
We all know she wasn't alone, right? And another one. Irene said Kanika's phone was playing the music off Bluetooth and she had to cut it off when Maya came to get the phone. She also said they never took Kanika missing for real and never cut the Bluetooth off. The party was still going. She also said Monifa and Shamaya was gone for 30 to 40 minutes while the party was still hype. No one sees Shamaya and Monifa on camera before Abriana came back. And the party was jumping 2.30 to 3.30. And this is a great one from a true friend slash family member. Kanika's hair straight from the her scalp should have been pulled for drug testing. Does the autopsy say that? Because I mean, when you're doing drug testing and it's a death investigation and you can clearly see that she's not just drunk. She was drugged, clear as day. It's not that hard to pull a strand and test it. Did the autopsy say that? No. Why not? Why wasn't it done? Wouldn't that have been the proper thing to do? You know how quick certain drugs leave the system? Whether it be blood or pee, especially date rape drugs. Hmm. Content disclaimer. But yeah, they have questions. The family has opinions. And they're very on point. Very on point. And I think we should still seek for answers. I believe we should still look into things that don't seem right. Even though court's coming up and things are going to come out and we're going to get to know more about the case and what actually happened, we're still not going to get the full story until them lie detectors come out. I wonder what y'all are going to say in Discovery. I wonder what your responses are going to be. Because I know damn sure it's not going to be that you're not liable. That you're not responsible. But the friends need to speak because they're responsible too. Not only have they disrespected Teresa Martin, someone that let them into their home, fed them, took them places as a family, shared their life with these people. You still get on live and disrespect her. Did you forget what she's done for you? Did you forget that Kanika Jenkins was supposed to be your true friend? That you were supposed to to stay with her at all times? Or did you know? Did you know what was going to happen? I don't know. Why don't you tell us? Jay for Kai.